Our debate now, is it a good idea or is it just a stupid waste of time? Um, in the camp that thinks it's a good idea, Oscar Peppert joins me. He's a marketer from The Green Way Up. And against Earth Hour is um, Jai Martinkovic. Good to have you along. Um, first of all, uh, Oscar, to you. Earth Hour, why do you think it's a good idea? Well, I don't think Earth Hour should ever be measured on how much energy it's saving. Um, I don't think that's the point of it at all and I think it's very kind of, uh, it's a simplistic viewpoint to take if, if you think that the reason Earth Hour exists is to try and save a bit of power for so one hour the, in a year. So what's the point of it? Well the point of it is that it's a huge platform for soliciting change and exposure for climate change. There's enough with all the stuff that we've got going on in government at the moment, all the people who are naysayers or, or prosayers and all the lack of education that's going on in some people that influence decisions around the world, like for example education in the but US. do you really think there are people that still need an earth hour to find out about damage to the environment? I think it's unfortunate that there is, yes, absolutely. All right, I mean, so you're saying earth hour is a good idea because it raises awareness um, amongst those stupid, hopeless people who don't already know. No, I think everyone's aware. I think earth hour is good because it reduces apathy, because it makes people more inclined right, to okay, do something. Okay, because today. it reduces apathy. Yeah. Um, Jai, you don't support it. Why? No, I think that this is one of those feel-good um, initiatives that people take. It's kind of like one of those uh, trends that happens. We saw it in 1999 with the Republic. Climate change is exactly the same, where you've got these inner city elites who want to take uh, these initiatives to feel good. And there's no change that it's actually going to come out of this, as Oscar said. If politicians wanted to do something practical mm. to reduce carbon emissions, carbon dioxide emissions, well, why don't they stop travelling around in jets? So this is a la -dee -da thing where Ponzi people can sit back and say, oh, we turn the... We we turn the electricity off for an hour. God, it was a nightmare. Well, next year they might not have a choice with the carbon tax. They might not be af able to afford to have the lights on. So is Oscar a Ponzi person? Well, uh, I see that Oscar's uh, particular interest is to travel. And I'm not sure how Oscar travels around, but I'm sure that he could reduce his emissions by uh, perhaps going around on a donkey. Isn't that, I mean, isn't that a point? Isn't that valid? That in reality, nothing at all is saved from Earth Hour. In fact, the energy that goes into talking about it, presum presumably producing stickers and things like that, is, is entirely counterproductive. Yeah, but I think the people who uh, support Earth Hour and the people who Earth Hour is targeting are the people who have the capacity to lobby government and big industry to change. And I think that's the point. If you want Isn't to look that at, going on anyway? If you want to look at Ponzi inner city elites um, actually changing the face of the earth through wanky messages like this one, then you've got to look no further than... Are we okay with that word, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are. Then you've got to look no further than the Coney campaign. As much as I hate those guys and what they do, because I think they're very insincere, they just sent, managed to get the African Union to send 5,000 troops to stop Coney where previously it wasn't an issue at all. Uh, three weeks after their social media campaign, and as much as I agree that the people who were changing that were the people who were like, like my status and all that sort of stuff on Facebook, it solicited real change in a serious issue for which people have been lobbying for change for ages. All right, Jai, is it possible then that, that part of what Oscar's saying is right? Look, there's is no, it possible that some good will come out of it? There's no doubt this is a brilliant marketing initiative, and I don't think that uh, it's going to have any practical outcome. But of course uh, there will be those who are inspired to consider the issue and I think that once they do consider the issue and arguments for and against, they'll realise things like the fact that there's only 3% of carbon emissions that are the contribution of man. Mm -hmm. And from that only 1% in Australia. Alright, well that's another whole debate that we could have. Very quickly, you are, you've come up with another hour. Well, that's right, and uh, this, this is something that's sort of uh, flown from America and has been picked up, and it's really essentially saying that we shouldn't be um, afraid to say that uh, our human development and industry and so, so on is a negative thing. So it's now that switching things on. It, it's not so much that it celebrates switching things on, but that we're not going to take Even part in switching stupid. things off. <laughs> it, it, it's so to, to be a very to light counter this affair. stupid Earth Hour, you found a more stupid thing to do. I don't think that this is something that's supposed to be a complete countermeasure to turn on more no. lights, and they turn off. No, this no. is a light-hearted affair to raise awareness yes, it is. about human industry. All right, Jai and Oscar, thank you both very much for joining us. It's up for, it's up to you now to determine whether or not you turn things off from 8:30, which is a stupid time to start an Earth Hour. <laughs> on Saturday evening. <laughs>